excited to have a little reset day. Um, I have mentioned this before, but one of my 2022 goals was to have regular reset days where I basically get things done that I've been putting off. And let me tell you, having a wardrobe clear out, I've been putting off for a really long time. So today is the day I need to sort this entire room. It may look tidy and, you know, organized. Behind these doors, I, the best decision of my life was to get wardrobe doors on my Ikea packs because behind these doors it's chaos, in these drawers it's chaos. Um, so yeah, I want to sort through all my clothes today, all my makeup, hair stuff, accessories, just absolutely everything. Um, because I haven't actually done that since June last year when we moved in. And even then, I don't feel like I really utilised this beautiful amount of storage space which I've dreamed of having my entire life I kind of just was so happy to finally have a place to put all my stuff that I didn't really organize it I kind of just threw it in so it's been getting worse and worse over the month so yeah that's the plan for today very much looking forward to that post organizing feeling where I know where everything is and I'm hoping it just helps to like declutter my mind. Yeah, it's gonna be a very productive day and I hope this video maybe motivates you to have a little pre-spring clear out. I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of my walk-in wardrobe. Um, these are all Ikea packs. I will make a list down below of everything. So the name of the doors and the handles and the sizes because um, when I ordered these, it was a bit of a minefield what to order. So yeah, I'll leave a list of all of that down below. Um, my gorgeous dressing room island Jamie actually built. We have a whole video on the building process. These drawers here. These are two lots of drawers, just back to back. And these are from Ikea. And then Jamie actually made this topper. So yeah, I'll link that video down below just in case you're looking for something similar as well. But yeah, so incredibly grateful to have this room because it's just, oh my God, I've dreamt of just having so much storage all my life. And yeah, I absolutely love this room. And then over here, I also have some of these drawers. These are just two sets of drawers from Ikea. Like I said, we'll link everything down below. Got a lovely big mirror here, which is from William Wood Mirrors. And yeah, do you know what I love about this room? <laughs> My favorite thing. It always looks tidy. This is your sign if you are thinking about getting Ikea Pax wardrobes, get the doors. Because I did toy with the idea of having them, you know, of just the rails. But, oh my goodness, I'm not organised enough to have that. So, as you can see, I just feel like it really needs a refresh. There are clothes in here that I haven't worn in a long time, so I need to be ruthless today. Um, so, yeah, and then I've got lots of drawers to sort out as well. These are just chaos. Absolutely jam-packed. This is the worst wardrobe. This is the wardrobe of doom right here. It's just a, uh, I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> Look at that. And these drawers are fabulous. Um, if you are thinking of getting Ikea packs, get these drawers because they are so deep and just huge. They fit so much in. Um, I wish I'd got more of these. This is my current pajama drawer. I can't wait to actually find things that I'd forgotten that I had. wardrobe declutter. So before we jump in to organizing and decluttering, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Glossybox 
for sponsoring this part of today's video. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of Glossy Box, but if you haven't, they are an amazing beauty monthly subscription box. And basically you'll receive a beautifully packaged box to your door every single month. And every month your box will be full of beauty, skincare or hair care products. Um, every single box also is always worth over £50 so it's a great way to try out new products, it's a great way to save money and it's also an amazing little treat to yourself or from yourself every single month. So this is February's Glossy Box which we're going to be unboxing today and I actually have a discount code for you guys which is Gemma and if you subscribe today you can get the February Glossy Box for £13.25 and there's over £65 worth of products in this box. Also, you'll get another free box which is worth over £50. So such an amazing discount. All you need to do is subscribe and like I said, once you've subscribed, you can pick the amount of months you subscribe for. So three months, six months, nine months. Um, and yeah, you'll receive one of these beautiful boxes to your door every single month. So in this month's glossy box, as you can see, we have five products. And like I said, this box is worth over 65 pounds. So first up, we have a full size product. This is the Vegan by Happy Skin Essence Toner. And this is actually worth 34 dollars on its own. Like I said, such an amazing way to try out new products. Then we have another full-size product, the Beauty Crop Brow Gel, and this is worth five pounds. And then we have the Illumasca Mini Liquid Eyeliner, which is worth 10 pounds. Then we have a Rituals product. I absolutely love Rituals. This is the Sparkling Hair and Body Mist. I've just sprayed some of this and it smells amazing. It's in the scent sweet orange and cedarwood. And then last but definitely not least, you'll receive this Paradox 3-in-1 Repair Conditioner, which is £10.50. So my loves, that is everything in this month's Glossy Box. Don't forget I've got a discount code and I will also leave a direct link for Glossy Box in the description box down below. So, plan of action is... I'm going to tackle each wardrobe at a time because each wardrobe does have a different purpose. So the end wardrobe is like knitwear, loungewear bits, and then I've got spring, summer accessories and coats. Mess, mess. <laughs> so I'm probably going to start with this one because this one's definitely the worst. Um, I'm sick of opening the doors and just things being thrown at me. So I'm going to start on the worst one. Probably I always find it best to just rip everything out <laughs> rip everything out and then I'm gonna make three piles I'm gonna make my keep pile my charity shop pile and also my depop pile I'll link my depop down below just in case you guys are interested um, we'll be listing lots of items really soon I've got loads of bits to pop on depop I just need to kind of find a day to go through everything take pictures and pop it on there so um, yeah I'll pop that down below but the reason I want to do each wardrobe like individually is <laughs> this happens a lot when I do wardrobe declutters. I pull everything out and then I sit knee deep in clothes and wondered why I ever started this and I just find it incredibly overwhelming. So I think doing it bit by bit will be good on the mind. Muse wardrobe. I have every item from every one of our drops. So I've got bits in here from our summer collection and then I have every item of every colour 
from our autumn winter collection as well. Can't wait to fill this little gap with our new spring collection which is coming which you guys are going to love. We're switching up the colours, the designs, oh my goodness, I'm really excited for that. Again I've got some shorts from last year's collection which I absolutely love. Um, we are hoping to bring these back this summer because I don't know about you guys but I lived in these last summer, they were so comfortable. Then Girl of Muse joggers in every colour and also Girl of Muse bralettes in every colour as well. I mean, is this excessive? And I figured this would actually be really helpful to have with everything that's still hanging up. So I can take it out the wardrobe, have a look at it, decide whether I want to keep it, depop it or charity shop it. And if I want to keep it, I can then pop it back on, just pop it on the rail whilst I sort the wardrobe out. Um, just to kind of like keep floor space relatively clear. <laughs> so I'm not drowning in clothes. Also as well, Another one of my favourite things whenever I'm having any form of clear out are these Ikea bags. Oh my goodness, they are amazing. You can get them from Amazon. A little bit more expensive. I think they're like a pound extra per bag if you get them from Amazon. But I don't have an Ikea near me and um, yeah, it was just more convenient to get these on Prime. So I got a pack of three of these for £12 and I think they're £3 each in Ikea. So yeah, a pound each more, um, but they are bloody brilliant. They are huge, look how big they are. They're like the size of my torso and some. Um, and they're just great, they fit so many clothes in and I feel like this has really helped, these bags have helped motivate me to actually have a clear out because there's nothing worse than when you clear a load of stuff out your wardrobe and you're left with like piles of clothes and nowhere to put them. So these are great. You can just bag up all your clothes um, and kind of like store them until you decide what to do with them, whether that be take them to the charity shop, sell them. Um, these are also great as well for like a wardrobe switch over if you like to take out all your winter clothes and store them maybe in your loft or wherever and you like to replace them with obviously your, like your spring wardrobe. So yeah, very useful. I also as well picked up some hangers from Amazon. This is the hangers I always get, they are absolutely brilliant. And I got a pack of 50 of these black velvet hangers. They're so good, they never break. I love that they're velvet because they hold, nothing slips off them. There's <laughs> nothing worse than clothes slipping off hangers. Um, and yeah, I like the way these look in my wardrobes as well because it, it makes them just look a little bit more, everything a little bit more kind of like organised because they all have the same hanger. So yeah, I think a pack of these, you get a pack of 50, I think they're around about £20, which is really good actually because like I said, these will last a long time, they never break and yeah, I feel like they really go with my wardrobe room. It's time to some, for some motivation. The best motivation I find is to have something on my iPad that like distracts me from what I'm doing. Not distracts me so much that I stop doing it, but kind of like I listen to it and it takes my mind off it and then I'm kind of like just <laughs> doing my wardrobe like a bit of a robot. Um, so I'm going to find something to watch probably on, oh my goodness, do you know what I watched last night that I loved? Um, Katie Price's Mucky Mansion, loved it, binged all three episodes, um, I really enjoyed it, I thought it was well good, and also it's currently Monday and tonight there's a new episode of Euphoria, um, I spoke to you guys about Euphoria in my last, oh look at Teddy, oh why he's so cute, this is what I mean by Teddy is the biggest distraction because I just stare at him in awe of how cute he is, yeah I mentioned Euphoria in my last vlog, 
binged it since then guys i've been on one binge se season one and two up to date um and now i'm gonna watch them like weekly as they come out but i love it i think about it all the time and <laughs> it's just one of those series i feel really like connected to some series i watch i like have such a connection to like i don't know like the the characters i just oh, i just love it so i'm looking forward to watching that tonight um but i think for now do you know what guys i might watch a bit of don't tell the bride it's just an easy going you know happy program to watch yeah let's pop some don't tell the bride on struggle to part ways with I feel like it takes a part of my soul um and I just absolutely love it oh yeah with this cupboard haven't really got rid of anything but I have color coordinated it which I feel like it's just oh it's just so much more satisfying <laughs> We had quite a productive day yesterday, but um, yesterday afternoon I just really was not feeling good. Throughout the day I kept trying to power through because I was so determined to have a productive day. Um, but I'm learning, the deeper I'm getting into pregnancy, I'm learning that I really need to just start listening to my body. And if one day my body just doesn't want to go, I need to yeah, just really listen to it um, and look after myself a little bit better. Something I'm really struggling with at the moment, I'm currently 24 weeks pregnant, I'm coming to the end of my second trimester and um, I'd probably say the hardest pregnancy symptom for me at the moment is my struggle of breathing, uh, my shortness of breath and I'm getting at the moment these terrible heart palpitations and from the moment I woke up yesterday, they started from the minute I woke up and usually when that happens they don't go away all day and the only way I can kind of describe it is it feels like the beginning of, beginning of a panic attack um, where you just feel very claustrophobic in your own body and just very panicky because you can feel your heart like beating out of your body and it just keeps getting faster and faster and obviously when you're having heart palpitations it's really hard to do things. That was me yesterday and like I said I kept trying to push through because I was so determined to have a reset day and really get this room finished but it kind of got towards the end of the afternoon yesterday and I was like I just need to, I need to admit defeat um, and look after myself a bit more. So yeah today is a new day and I'm looking forward to getting the rest of this room finished. I got quite a lot done yesterday. Um, I did this wardrobe, the drawers, this one, this one. Now I have the corner wardrobe to do and the one next to it, which to be honest, are probably two of the, the worst ones, which I kind of wish I'd done yesterday. Um, so I need to do those. I also need to do all of my island drawers, which should be like relatively easy because they're mainly like leggings and trousers um, and like, big t-shirts that I wear to bed. Um, I've got my pajama drawer over there, but does anyone else have like sets of pajamas that are like their nice pajamas? And then big old t-shirts that are about 10 years old. 
um i just i love a big t-shirt to bed so yeah those drawers the other side are kind of full of those and i really want to do my makeup drawers today but i'm not like they're not in a major need to be done so if i only get the wardrobe and stuff done today that's absolutely fine need to stop putting pressure on myself um i think i just struggle because it's really frustrating to just simply not have the energy to do things that I'd usually be able to do. And I know that like my body is using up so much energy to grow a baby. And I think I need to like, I need to remember that a little bit more um, instead of just kind of telling myself I'm useless all the time and not being able to do the things I used to do. Like my body is creating a, a human being. <laughs> so I need to yeah I need to learn to listen to my body a little bit more but today is gonna be another productive day very very excited to get this room finished okay this is what we're working with with the corner um, part of my wardrobe if you order the Ikea packs you need to get like if you want it in an L shape like this you need to get one of these corner units um, which to be honest is really good it's a great place to keep coats as you can see i've just got one rail in here so i can keep really long coats in here um and then i also got these shelves here to keep like all of my bags and oh my god it's such a mess <laughs> to keep all of my bags and um hats apparently scarves a bit of everything on here yeah i'm looking forward to organizing this today i think i can actually make this section look quite nice um and then over here got some coats that i stuffed in because i couldn't be bothered to put them away one day how lazy and a load of shoes and these boxes here are kind of just like random stuff that i have nowhere to put so i really want to sort those out today here she is <laughs> tilly cannot resist a cupboard she absolutely loves them <laughs> many coats I'm finding it very hard to get rid of coats <laughs> oh I feel like they're like some of them are like fossils some of them are a good they're not fossils they're like three years old but I'm scared to get rid of them in case one day I'm like this is my fear when clearing out my wardrobe. I worry that one day I'm going to think, oh yeah, I really fancy wearing that today. Oh my God, that looks so nice with this. And I go to get out my wardrobe and it's gone. But then I never, do I ever have that thought? No. <laughs> shelves in my corner unit I could do with actually getting some extra shelves to go like to divide I just feel like there's a lot of space at the top that could be used but yeah just got hats at the top just gonna do bags here more bags here need to sort those shoes out um more shoes here um a lot of hats i never quite realized i had this many hats also guys look at these i got these from asos the other week they are teddy new era caps i love them thought they were so cute probably a bit better for like autumn winter um but i just absolutely loved them i just popped downstairs for a little snack i find something that really helps me in the day um to feel less tired and less like heart palpitation-y is if you're wondering why i'm actually panting it's because i just ran up the stairs um is just to eat little and often but i've found as well if i eat sugar 
that's what sets my heart off. So I'm, I'm trying to really steer away from sugar at the moment. Um, and something I found that is one of my favorite afternoon snacks is the heck Bangin' Bites little mini chicken cocktail sausages. Oh my God, these are amazing. And they're full of protein. They literally have 18 grams of protein per pack and they're so yummy and they come with this little barbecue dip. So I'm gonna eat these, get some energy and then continue. <laughs> in the middle of doing the last wardrobe and I just wanted to say when designing my IKEA Pax wardrobes it's very overwhelming because you can get lots of different fixtures and fittings like some really cool ones and I thought this would be a really good idea it's like a pull out um trouser rail but I just feel like it I wish I hadn't got it basically and what I've actually done is I've placed an order for some drawers the same as in this wardrobe here I've made an order for four more of these drawers and the bottom I've got like a mesh one which I just keep hair bits in and I just feel like I'm gonna get so much more use out of the drawers because I can obviously fold all the trousers up and it's gonna take the space because at the moment I use this space for kind of just general storage like bits and bobs um, so yeah if you are considering getting IKEA packs I would say definitely um, go for drawers instead of this. Jamie predicted this, I remember when I ordered it, he was like, you're gonna regret getting that, and I do. Okay, we're making progress, I'm feeling good. Got a seven up, cold seven up is one of my pregnancy cravings. Um, so yeah, I've got two big bags for the charity shop, one big bag for Depop, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the progression so far. I always feel a little bit disheartened whenever I do like wardrobe declutters because in my mind it's like my mind versus reality in my mind I have this vision of like beautifully minimal organized wardrobes that look stunning and then the reality is they kind of look the same but just with less clothes in <laughs> so I'm always disappointed with the um like finished can you see Tilly here they're having a great time climbing in and out of the wardrobes today. Um, but yeah, I've always felt a little bit disappointed when I finish because I'm like, oh, it's not as satisfying as I would have hoped. Um, but last bits to do, I want to find new homes for all of these bits here, which I'm going to pop. Um, there's some coats in there, some knitwear, so I'm going to pop these in the relevant wardrobes. And then Jamie's actually going to have this one here for his coats. And then, like I said, I've got some more drawers to go here. So I'll probably leave that how it is until the drawers come and then I'll have lots more space to play around with. <laughs> most organized but I now know where everything is and I feel good after a clear out like I said I've got three big Ikea bags now ready for Depop two for the charity shop so that's five big bags 
um, that are gonna go to new homes. And yeah, I feel really good. I feel like there is, as much as I don't particularly enjoy organizing and decluttering, I always wish I was one of those people that really enjoyed it, um, but it's just such, honestly, it takes a long time for me to build myself up to do it. I just do not enjoy it at all, but, there truly is no better feeling than just that satisfied feeling after um, having a clear out, decluttering your space, organizing, and now knowing what everything is. Like, it feels really good. But I have just had a delivery from H&M. Um, I haven't, it's not huge. I just got a few little bits because a lot of my clothes don't actually fit me anymore. <laughs> um, like, quite a lot of my joggers and stuff are now quite tight obviously i'm not going to get rid of any of my clothes that don't fit because obviously i'm going to wear them again after i've given birth but for now i just needed some i'm trying to collect just like a few real comfy maternity staples i haven't actually bought any maternity clothes yet um i'll probably wait till i'm a little bit bigger because my bump is still pretty small um but i've been collecting a few bits that i just feel like are really comfortable so I'm gonna show you what I picked up from H&M. Okay, the first little thing I got isn't for me, but how cute is it? I couldn't resist. Oh, I love baby clothes so much. Um, I also picked up as well just some plain vests. I picked up another knitted dress because knitted dresses are my favorite thing to wear right now. And this looks like it's gonna be a really lovely length. It goes just past my knees. It's this gorgeous, soft, ribbed material and it's in this lovely oatmeal color. And with jumper dresses, I feel like they're really cozy um, and comfortable, really nice on my bump as well. Like anything with kind of like a waistband at the moment is super uncomfortable. Like these joggers I've gotten right now, I'm a little bit like, ow, can't wait to get them off. Um, but yeah, jumper dresses are my go-to at the moment. I feel like they make me feel put together, but also feel like comfy, like loungewear. So yeah, I got this jumper dress and I love the turned up sleeves on this as well. I got some more wide leg trousers. Again, these are ribbed and they're a gorgeous cream color. I like things that don't touch me. <laughs> I can't stand anything tight at the moment, guys. Honestly, it's just... I feel like because I feel uncomfortable enough, um, like I feel like I'm just being stretched to my limits, wearing something tight on top of that kind of adds to it. So I like to wear loose stuff. Um, and then, sorry, did I show you guys those properly? I feel like I didn't. These are high-waisted. I got a size large in these. Um, so they're nice and baggy around the bump. I think they'll be really comfortable to wear and I just like to wear these with a nice big jumper. Then I picked up this cardigan but it's not what I was expecting so I might send this one back. Um, I liked how thin it looked because I thought it would be great for spring but it's not really the length that I hoped. So it looks like this as you can see like it's really nice and thin um, and that's why I got the vest so I could like wear one underneath this with a nice pair of leggings but the length I feel like it wouldn't cover my bum it's that awkward length that's just maybe not long enough so yeah I love this but I don't know I'll try it on but I might send that back and then I also picked up as well this knitted vest thought this was really pretty and I thought this would go nicely with some nice wide leg trousers again spring vibes and then i also got as well some maternity bras because oh my god i can't wear underwire at the moment guys it's it's like having satan on my chest and um, i just got these two comfortable maternity bras mum life this is me now guys <laughs> maternity bras and vests and then last what I'm most excited about is a new fresh pair of silky pajamas. Is there anything better? I am so excited 
to do my little evening routine in a moment and get into my fresh pyjamas. So I just picked up these black silky ones. I went for black because I thought these would be fabulous for um, when I fake tanned. Because I feel like fake tan doesn't really stick, stick, can't speak, stick to silk. And obviously the fake tan won't stain these. Um, and yeah, these are lovely. So you get like a nice oversized shirt. They feel really lovely and soft as well. And then wide leg pyjama bottoms, which look so comfortable. Oh, I can't wait to put these on. So my loves, that is going to go ahead and end today's video. Thank you so much for watching as always. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>